Welcome to Mass Transit Commute. On this episode, I'm going to be talking about faults. Faults are event types that are published when a consumer throws an exception that is not handled, not retried, and eventually where the message gets moved to the error queue. I did a previous episode on the error queue, but this time I want to discuss the fault publishing that happens. Now this is configurable, it's done by default, and you can turn it off. Uh, and I'll go over that at the end. Um, to do this, we're gonna use some of the same samples we've had before. In this case, I have my submit order consumer. Now my submit order consumer is really simple. It checks a property and either throws an exception or everything's happy and it does what it should do. And we're publishing a simple message at startup. So if this was true and we go ahead and run this, we would actually just see in the log that there was a simple message published and everything was great. Going to start up, we got the order was valid, submitted, and that was that. So that's the positive case. Now let's change this back to the negative case. And when we run this, we're going to see an error in the log, but I have two other consumers. One is the submit order fault consumer, which we can see consumes a fault of submit order. And faults are published based on the message type, not the consumer type. So if I were to put fault submit order consumer, nothing would ever happen because that isn't what's published. It's the fault type of the message that was being consumed when the exception occurred. So in this case, it's fault submit order. And in this consumer, I have the original message that faulted. So I can go in and get the message order ID. Uh, I have the exception information. I have a number of different properties that are on that message that I can use. Uh, Timestamps, things like that. Um, so that's one of the fault types that I can consume. Another fault type I can consume if I don't want to have a fault consumer for every single message type is I can consume just fault. And when I consume fault, I get everything except for the message. And technically the message is still there and you can ask for it and I'll show that. But fault doesn't include the message type, but it does include everything else. So I'm able to just have a single consumer that I can use <clears throat> for logging faults, things like that. So now when I run this with the faulted message, I'll see the output of these two separate fault consumers. So I see the error from the consumer that threw. I see two messages that were consumed. One says a message faulted. This is our fault, con any fault consumer. And it says the message type and the order was not valid. Of course, that was the exception message that was thrown by the exception. The other consumer that received it was the submit order faulted consumer. And that was the one that knows the message type, knows the order ID, and also outputs the exception. And we can see that these were received on two separate endpoints, the published faults any fault consumer and published faults submit order fault consumer. If we go out and look at our broker, we can see because the consumer names are used to create the, the uh, endpoint names, we have an any fault, we have a submit order, and we have a submit order fault. And those are the queues that are gonna receive those messages. So that's how the default fault publishing works. If I go back to my project now, now let's say I don't wanna output those faults. In this case, I can go to my submit order consumer, and I can create a submit order consumer definition submit order consumer definition, and that's a consumer definition of submit order and uh, submit order consumer, sorry. And I did spell it right. And in this case, I'm gonna override the configure consumer and I'm going to put endpoint configurator.publish faults equals false. And by setting this, it will no longer publish those fault messages. So when I run this, I'll see that it starts up and I get the message. I'll still see the error in the log and the message will still be moved to the error queue, but they still publish the faults. That's odd. I wonder why it did that. It shouldn't do that. Hmm. Plot thickens. Um, yeah, so I have it in the error queue and it looks like it still published the message. Huh. Did I config? Oh, okay. So it helps if you actually tell the program about the consumer definition. I didn't register that, and since I'm not using discovery, it didn't automatically find it. 
So now when I run it, we'll actually see that. And yeah, it helps to specify the definition type. So lesson learned there. Now we can see no faults were published because we received the error, no faults were published, and we won't even see those exchanges. Well, the exchanges are there because the consumers are there, but if I didn't have those consumers and I wasn't publishing faults, I wouldn't have those exchanges. So that's how faults work in Mass Transit as far as publishing faults when exceptions occur. Hope you really found this useful. We'll catch you on the next one.